what we'd make is a bread, and it's a very simple bread that you can do at home. Um, there's only a few ingredients, and hopefully um, it's pretty easy. So in this bowl here, I've got uh, three cups of flour, just ordinary flour. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Now this is just ordinary dry yeast. And one and a half cups of hot water. Not boiling, not lukewarm, but hot water. Now I know this seems quite funny, but you have gotta trust in this recipe. Now also just for a little bit of taste, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of olive oil. And now what I'm gonna do is just simply mix that all around. Now it'll go into quite a gluggy mix, but that's okay. You'll notice I'm using a glass bowl. That's because I just find when I'm gonna put the film or the glad wrap over the top, it seems to stick a little bit better. And it's looking quite flaky at the moment. But that's, that's fine. This recipe is very simple. All it does is take time, really. Because once we're gonna, what we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna leave this, we're gonna cover it and leave it. It doesn't need to be in the hot water cylinder cupboard or anything like that. You're just gonna leave it on the kitchen bench for about oh, three hours. If it's a little bit longer, that's fine. If it's less, that's fine as well. Don't worry about um, making it all neat and tidy in there. That's, that's fine because it's all gonna bubble up. Obviously, I've washed my hands prior as well. I'm gonna wash them again now because it's got some dough on them. Dry them off. Now for our next step, all we do is cover it in the glad wrap or plastic film. Cut it off over the top. Make sure it's well sealed. And we'll just pop that off to one side. And we'll leave that for about two or three hours. So I'll see you soon. Well, it's been a couple of hours now, so what we're going to be doing is taking the glad wrap off our dough. Um, as you can see, or you may not be able to see, the glad wrap's actually risen as well, but so the, there's gas inside there, and that's from the yeast. So it's wobbling around. Hey, but that's okay. We're all right with that. Take the glad wrap off. Put that off to one side. Now, you're going to need to flour your board. Be quite generous. Make sure you don't get it on the floor, otherwise you'll be able to be as popular as a bear at a honey picnic. Get your spatula. Dab it with a little bit of flour if you like, and that just can help take it out of the, the bowl. And you can see I'm just easing it out. onto our board. Now, this part here, I recommend that you put a little bit of flour on the top. And I don't have a scraper, so what I've done is I've just cut the top of a, a lid off the um, yogurt in half. And I'm just gonna use that just to help me shape it a little bit. And as you can see, that took all of about 10 seconds. Now all we need to do is we're going to put this into a bowl purely um, to sit for about half an hour while the oven heats up. So we'll put our parchment paper in there. And we'll grab our dough. Now, that will rise again 
but I don't think it'll rise twice the size. In the meantime, what we're going to be doing is turning our oven on to as high as it possibly can go, about 220. Now, we're going to get a tea towel, make sure you've got a clean tea towel. And you're just going to cover your dough while that oven heats up. It doesn't need to go into the hot water cylinder again. Okay, it can just sit on the um, bench. And once the oven's heated up, or actually, first of all, we're going to put our pot into the, uh, into the oven because that's the way we're going to be cooking it. So we want to get the pot nice and hot. Okay, so this is a camp oven pot or a cast iron pot. Ask whoever um, owns it to, um, if you're allowed to use it. That can go into the oven now. Bearing in mind from this point onwards, it's going to be very, very hot. So you're going to need some adult supervision or someone to help you. All right, we'll see you soon. Well, it's been about half an hour now. The oven's nicely heated. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, pot from out of the oven, uncover our dough, which is going to be our bread very soon. It has risen slightly. It doesn't matter if it hasn't doubled in size. Don't worry about that. When you are taking the pot out of the oven, be very, very careful, all right? This is very, very hot. Okay, camp ovens are also known as Dutch ovens. Okay, essentially what's gonna be happening <clears throat> is when the dough goes in here, it's going to steam within it. On some expensive oven, you can actually have a steam function, but this is all going to happen inside here. Might pay to get an adult to help you here. Gently pop it into the side. Don't touch anything. Remember, everything is super, super hot. I'm going to pop our lid back on. Open the oven door. Very carefully pop it into the oven. And we're going to set our timer for half an hour. Once that half an hour is up, we're going to take our bread out of the oven and we're going to take the parchment paper or the baking paper out of the uh, pot and then take the lid off as well and put it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. But I'll show you that process too. See you soon. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. Any second now the buzz is going to go off. So we're going to take our bread out of the oven. We're going to take it uh, out of the um, pot and I'll show you what we're going to do. Here we go. When you open the oven, Always step back first because there's always a waft of heat. Okay. Should I pop it on that one? Close the oven door. Remember, everything is very, very hot. Okay, now that's rising quite nicely. So what we want to do is we want to take the baking paper um, off at the moment. So, very carefully, take that out, and I'm going to pop it back in there like so. What we're going to do now is it's going to go back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. The reason for that is because we've had all the moisture, we now want to create a nice crust on the, uh, on the bread. Open the oven door, again very carefully. And 20 minutes. Well, as you can hear, the buzz is going off. It's been a little bit uh, um, less than 20 minutes because I was worried that it might be a bit too much. So, turn our buzzer off. I'm going to turn the oven off. Again, when I open the door, I'm going to be very careful. Let the heat escape first. 
carefully. Wow, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Now, very carefully, you might want to get someone to help you do this. Now, if you turn it upside down, and you can tap it, you can hear it's a slight hollow sound. So that's our bread now finished. Hopefully you can make your own bread, maybe some different types of recipes, and send them in to me so we can um, show some photos of those too. Good luck and we'll talk to you soon.